Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be sharing three easy home decor projects that you can probably make without buying anything because that's what I've done. We're going to be starting off with these two here. So I've got this. You can use a cocktail bowl. You can also use like a little fish bowl. And then I have this vase here and this is going to be a really simple but beautiful DIY. I'm going to place this inside. And I'm also taking these evergreen little snippets I got from the park, placing them inside to add some greenery. And I always think greenery and glass just look so beautiful. Simple, but just gorgeous. And just make sure to fill any gaps. So I am turning it around and having a look. And then this is a candle that I'm using. Just placing that in the middle. Really simple, but I think this just adds a little bit of greenery and pop of colour into your room. I just had these sitting on the shelf empty for the longest time. So I thought I'll put both of them to some use and I really like how it's come out. And you can add whatever you like inside, maybe some baby's breath or dried flowers, they would look lovely too. And my video is part of a collaboration, we're all making things with what we have already, so no spending. There's going to be ideas for you to check out in a playlist that's pinned in my comments. For the next project, I'm taking this glass jar, you can use a mason jar for example, and then some tracing paper. We're going to add this to our jar, so you want to cut it to size and stick it down. So where the seam is in the glass is where I'm going to be placing my tape. So I'm not going to be using any glue, just some double-sided tape. One strip down the side will be enough. And we just peel that away. And then take your tracing paper and place it down one half. And then bring it all around the side of your glass back to where we started and then take your scissors you can draw along it so you know how much to cut and then cut off any excess we'll tidy up later so don't worry about that now i'm taking some rope to decorate the top of our jar and just make it look more high end. So take some hot glue and add it to the back here and then go all around and you can use twine if you want. And then simply cut off the excess. And I've got a little bit of glass that shows at the bottom so I'm going to repeat the same process adding this rope to the bottom of my jar. I'm going to add a little bit more on the top, I think it looks a lot better so I'm just taking a little hot glue here and just adding that on. And one final one, I'm just trying to cover all of the glass, I think it looks a lot better this way. So just to show you another idea, you can add some dried flowers or pressed flowers around the outside to decorate or you can leave it simple like me. And once we put the candle in, it's just going to have a really beautiful soft light. You can also add the dried flowers inside or you can even add a candle on top so that this is a candle holder. Here's another one. They will fit perfectly. And of course to be safer you can add solar or battery LED ones. So this is the one that I'm going with. 
Now you can stop there if you like. I just wanted to add a little bit more detail and some contrast in colour. It also makes it look more high end. So I took this leather strap and I just cut it the size. I then added some gold pins. I didn't hot glue these, I just placed them in the rope and they just slotted in perfectly and they were secure. So I did that on either side. It's amazing what you can do with a few items lying around your home. I really love how this came out. It's really high end. I love the soft glow that comes through with the light and I think the leather strap was a great addition. So I found this little door outside and I thought it was perfect. I really love how rustic and weathered it looked. I've removed the hinges already with my drill and I'm just going to sand it a little bit. I'm going to be making a wreath on here so I'm just taking this and I'm going to wind it around several times. This is actually on wire so it's really handy to make a wreath with and it's so simple. So I'm creating a circle and just looping that round a few times to give it a bit more definition. I think three times will do so I'm going to cut it off. And then I'm winding this piece underneath just to hold it in place. And then doing the same with this part here. Really nice and simple, beautiful wreath there. I've got this bow which I'm going to stick on the wreath to add a little decoration but it's still nice and simple. And then just taking my hot glue again to place this on the wood and I'm going to centre it. And then I'm using these wooden letters just to spell out home and I'm going to add these on with my hot glue. And you can paint these but I really love the natural look. I really love how rustic this looks and if you love farmhouse this is perfect as well. I think when I get time I might swap out the letters to something that looks a little bit more high end. I'm not too happy with the way those letters look. Oh and that bottle beside it is also something I've made in a previous video. So what do you think of today's projects? Which one is your favourite? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more. And check out the playlist I mentioned earlier. Thanks for watching. Bye.